This is all his fault! He destroyed my son! If I ever get my hands on that wall crawler, I'll- So, I've just seen the new Suicide Squad movie, and by the looks of it, it was amazing. James Gunn did a marvelous job. Get it? Marvelous. The characters were awesome. And the reviews for it were very, very magnificent. I'll respect people's opinion on the Suicide Squad. It was actually pretty good. It's taking close to the comic source material. They gave Harley Quinn the iconic red and black look. Peacemaker and the other characters as well. Including Polka Dot Man. I heard a news article that Shark King Shark was a pain in the ass. Like, as a, as a character... As a CGI character, I heard James Gunn said he was a pain in the ass to make. And we all know King Shark was absolutely adorable. Oh my god, I love you. But we're not talking about the Suicide Squad today, even though it's better than... Well, you guys know. Which we'll get into... Which we will be doing that at a later date. But right now, we're going to take a trip back. Last year... Last year ago, Zack Snyder's Justice League was released. And the reviews were lords, lords better than the first one. I'll give the fans respect. They gave it a, some fans gave it a 10 out of 10. Like, it was a beautiful, golden work of art masterpiece. And Batman and Superman were like twins. And it was very, very heartwarming. And the art style was very beautiful. And of course, hashtag release the Snyder Cut. After the first one came out, this hashtag was everywhere for years to come. You've seen this hashtag everywhere. All of it. The three hour untold story of the Justice League. Fans were battling for a remake or a re version. And the time has already came. The fans got what they wanted. And their wish has finally came true. The movie itself was a golden work of art in my opinion. I don't care what people think in my opinion. Darkseid looks like a beast. And even though this might take a while, but at least Joker's, at least Jared Leto's Joker is starting to get some improvement. Like, I do love this. I, I am starting to respect Jared Leto's Joker, even though he was buff in Suicide Squad. But we'll get to the whole Joker Suicide Squad at a later date. So after the movie's massive success and how a how it turned from the first Justice League to an amazing masterpiece by only Zack Snyder, not that Josh Whedon cut we got. Now WB is saying quote that the first Justice League was directed by Zack Snyder. Does this look like Zack Snyder to you, WB? That is Josh Wilson. The same bastard who screwed up Marvel's Age of Ultron, but truthfully, he was most famous for this movie's Crabsure failure. And let me tell you, I feel very bad for Zack Snyder. Like, this man right here, even though some, a tiny bit of people despise him, his stars love him. Snyder is a modern nice guy. I mean, this man deserves a lot of respect. He lost everything back in 2017. The Justice League Zack Snyder's version was not just a treat for his fans, but it was also a tribute for his daughter. Autumn Snyder, sorry if I get that name wrong, I am I apologize. She committed suicide back in 2017 and... For the record, a lot of fans felt bad for Zack Snyder. I I especially felt very bad for him. Truthfully, he had to leave the production early because of his family loss. All that WB did was give Justice League to a madman that screwed up the whole franchise from the get-go. And who oh boy, if you've seen the quotes and the tweets, you know everyone doesn't like him. Ray Fisher, the same awesome guy that played as Cyborg, said in quote, Josh Whedon's on-set treatment of the cast and crew was gross, abusive, unprofessional, and completely unacceptable. He was enabled in many ways by Joff and John Berg. I feel his pain. 
I wouldn't work with someone who treats us all like crap as well. She's like that vegan teacher on YouTube that my friend's been telling me about, but don't worry. We'll probably look at her at a later date. This man right here is a sick man, and I'm just glad he's no longer part of the movie industry. Yeah, he got what he freaking deserved. Many months have passed, and people are still doing it, even after the Suicide Squad. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, WB, you have no idea how big of a mistake you just made. So after Zack Snyder's masterpiece was a success, people were asking, So, now that these setups are prepared, are we going to see more movies like this? Like, are we going to see a Justice League 2 or a 3 or a 4? But during that time, there was one major frustrating thing that happened. Oh man, if you thought Disney could get any worse, WB is absolutely 10 times worse. So, this is what WB decided to do. They said, quote, We're going to continue with the Josh Whedon movie. Come on, that movie isn't that bad. I think the movie is pretty good. So, they decided to went with the quote, We're moving on with Josh Whedon's movie. Yeah, I've already looked at Channel Pop and all the other articles and they told me everything. And then, three months ago, when WB decided to release a 4K version of the Justice League, <laughs> prepare to be satisfied and laugh your ass off. 5.6k likes, 137k dislikes. That is insane. Very insane. I was one of the people who disliked it, so don't worry. I'm on your side. I was even a part of it too. You have no idea what big of a mistake you just made. Oh, and the new is first? Yeah. They're still doing it for years to come. Restore the Snyder first. Restore the Snyder verse. Restore the Snyder verse. Yep. It's still happening. Still to this day, it is still happening. And to make things even worse and frustrating. The one thing I'll agree with my fans with and other YouTubers is, yes, Nintendo does make bad decisions, I will give them that. But that's only their problem, not ours. Still to this day, I'm just glad the hate is finally coming to an end. This is a response video, it's not actually a sucks video. And I'm just making sure everything is still good and secured. But this is Nintendo, let's go back to the actual topic. Nintendo will still be Nintendo, but... If you thought Nintendo makes bad decisions, trust me. WB is 10 times worse than that. WBX said the Batman is terrible. Why fans have lost faith in WB slash DC films. WB announces danger disastrous Superman project from JJ albums. WB knew it was awful all along. And I've already seen all the videos and they told me everything. Yeah. WB themselves is woke as well, just like Disney. I mean, it almost feels like our entire culture is completely screwed up from the get-go. My opinion, Zack Snyder is a very, very nice man. He has been through a lot of stuff in the past. Not only... Do we have to love him, whether we like him or not, but he also deserves respect, gratitude, and love. This man has been through a lot ever since the whole <clears throat> Josh Whedon League 2017. And I, we want him to continue the DC movies. Whether they think they're awful or not, we want this man back in our DC films and back in our hearts. WB has lost its magic, in my opinion, just like Disney. 
They used to be cool back in the day, but nowadays they're just crap. Yeah, you already know the whole story about this. <laughs> no wonder Nintendo, Magma comic books, and anime are most popular than our culture today. That's because they're Japan, and Japan is better than America. Let's be real. Zack Snyder is not just your average or awesome filmmaker. He's a family to all the DC fans, including me. Well, mainly I'm a Marvel guy, but, I'm, but I also like Batman DC too. I can't blame him. This man has done a lot, have been through a lot in the past. And you know what? He deserves our respect. We will love him, love him or hate him. He has given us a lot of masterpieces. Truthfully, credits are actually these men nowadays, and they're complete a-holes. These are the real fans, audience scores. The movies themselves are just for the fans. Credits don't have to, like, disagree on it. And yeah. Zack Snyder deserves respect. We don't care about WB anymore. Hell, WB doesn't even belong in our culture nowadays. We want Zack Snyder back in our hearts now. We want him to make more DC EU films. Whether they're good or bad, we want him back in our hearts. However, a rumor just said HBO might be doing a Snyderverse related thing as well. Since HBO likes the idea rather than WB. But you know what? I hopefully that should happen. And that will happen. We are fans, this is our decision, not theirs. If I ever met Zack Snyder in the real world, or eventually, I would do this to him. Oh, you. Okay. I love you. <laughs> As for WB. How about you go to hell? Say out a joker for me. <sighs> okay, maybe I went too hard on that one. Just give us the Batman movie, goddammit.